Hi, Dr. De Pasquale from NSI, and um, many patients come to see us with erectile dysfunction. And I think the important thing to understand is, is look, it just represents damage or dysfunction in the body, damage or dysfunction to specific tissues. Uh, and there are different causes. There's a neurological component, but really the, the primary cause of erectile dysfunction is vascular or a compromise of the blood vessels that are responsible for producing an erection, producing or maintaining an erection. And one of the most common causes obviously is diabetes. So, you know, as a functional medicine or as a lifestyle medicine clinic, um, yes, we provide stem cell therapy to repair and regenerate the damaged tissue, but we also take a look at the lifestyle issues that may be creating it. When it comes to um, erectile dysfunction, remember that the penis is made up of capillary networks and, and there's thousands and thousands of capillaries that are present in the shaft of the penis. We call it the corpus cavernosum. Cavernosum means like caverns. And essentially what happens when we get an erection is that blood flow comes into the shaft of the penis and allows us to you know, achieve and then also maintain that erection. Now when we have vascular compromise, that doesn't happen. We have limitation in terms of uh, that process occurring. One of the great things about adipose derived stem cells, and you know, we have options to harvest stem cells from multiple tissues, but we choose to harvest from adipose or fat tissue because of the angiogenic properties. Angiogenic just means the formation of new blood vessels, which is really powerful. And I think um, that's the reason why we can be very successful in even cartilage regeneration, because cartilage has a poor blood supply with using fat-derived stem cells is because of the angiogenic properties, but specifically for erectile dysfunction, I think that plays a really important role, and I think that's why we get uh, good outcomes is because we use the right set of tools. Um, having said that, it is a direct injection. So in, in most of the men uh, that I speak to, they immediately cringe. I want you to know that none of the injections are done into sensitive areas. They're done into the areas of the penis that has very little sensation. They're done with very tiny insulin needles, possibly slightly larger just so that we can deliver the product. And that product are stem cells isolated from adipose, as well as PRP taken from blood. Um, the best way I can explain that mixture is stem cells are seeds to regenerate tissue. PRP is the fertilizer, and PRP is necessary to promote healing and give the stem cells the raw materials necessary to do what they need to do, and uh, that's the reason why we use both. Um, that process, just like any other process that we see, does take a little bit of time. So, you know, remember that this is a healing process. It's not a magic wand, but ultimately it's a process that will take place over time as long as you're patient. There are some home instructions that will give patients to make us more successful, and our protocols are in line with, uh, with really just our outcomes, you know, or at least uh, are in line with what we'd like our outcomes to be. So we're gonna ask you to do some things at home just to improve the, um, the quality of the care as well as to improve the outcome. So there's gonna be some, some dietary recommendations for some individuals as well as some things that we'll do at home in terms of exercise and that kind of stuff. Hope that's helpful.